Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Smolder in the mid lane, but we're gonna go AP. He's supposed to be an ADC, but I've noticed he has AP ratios on his Q, on his W, not on his E, and on his R he has 130% AP ratio. So we're gonna be baby Elder Dragon with Smolder because his kit is, he has infinitely scaling abilities that gain extra damage based on either last hitting with Q or damaging enemies. Um, his Q then upgrades after you get 25, 125, and 225 stacks. And at 225 stacks, it has Elder Dragon Burn plus Execute. So imagine I combine that true damage burn with Eliandre's and just cook people too later on. So we're going to see how he goes AP. This will be awesome if he is like viable um, AP because he kind of reminds me of Kog'Ma. You can go AD on Kog'Ma. You can go AP on Kog'Ma. They both work. So his Q just shoots a fireball and that fireball gets upgraded as we get more stacks. His W, he sneezes and shoots out a big fireball. I think that's going to be our main damage as uh, AP Smolder. Q has 15%. W has 65% if we had a champion. So, let me see. What does Q get from maxing it? I'm going to max W, actually. Q actually doesn't get that much stronger with AP. It doesn't really get stronger at all. It does get lower cooldown, but I think W is where the money's at. By Sloter, but she charmed Briar. His E lets him flap his little wings, and he does a bunch of auto attacks while he's flying. That's not going to do a lot of damage because we're building AP, but I just played him AD on my main channel if you want to go check that out on Swag. Um, it didn't do a lot of damage when I was full build ADC, so it's not a high damage ability. It's good movement, though, for getting over walls. I'm going to max W. W max Indie Q. Let's see what this wave clears like. Yeah, that's good. And once I get... Uh, how many stacks do I need? 25? 25 stacks. My Q farms a lot better. I don't know where she went. Okay. So, it's new items on PBE. I think I'm going to go Caster's Companion. That's what Ludens used to be. Because I need mana. I just don't know how much mana I'm going to need. I may need to build a tier also. I'm just... I'm not 100% sure. But see, there's flat by wings. I'm also using um, his skin, which is... I don't know what it's called. I think it's like some dragon's skin. I don't know. But he's like golden. I actually like his base model better. But this is like a golden prestige skin. Kind of looks like. So yeah, that ability heavily reminds me of Pogma E. Come on, come on. Oh, see, it didn't even do enough damage to kill the cannon. Now, stacking up with Q, you don't get extra stacks for killing, like, large monsters and stuff, so... You can just use it on baby minions. You don't have to always use it on the cannons if they're there. But yeah, he's scaling champ. He's not supposed to be strong early. We try and hit Ari with this. Boom! A chew. That actually hits hard, and then it's guaranteed Comet Land. His ult calls his mom. Think of Pantheon ult, but stronger. If you ever seen my full AP Pantheon videos, that's kind of what's gonna happen this game. It's probably gonna be stronger. I think it has an even better ratio than that. Did that hit her? No. Yeah, we might need a tier. I don't know. Also, his Q. Apply it his Q counts as an auto attack, so we can actually go Lich Bane and that'll work on his Q. There's just so many items I want to go. Oh, see how far that goes? And it almost uh one shot the wave, the casters at least. His Q calls down his mom, she breathes fire in a line, and if it hits me, it also heals me. And that scales with AP too. Oh, I think I just got my upgrade, I did. And his horns will change as we upgrade, I believe. So, check my horns when I get, uh, how many stacks? 125. Alright, let's see if... Wait, what does this upgrade do? 
Damages all surrounding targets. Okay, so I can actually get more stacks this way. If it leaves all those casters with one HP, watch this. Oh, they died to the comet. Okay, so it's area of effect now. Cool. Nice. We're stacking up. Bye, spot. Wave clear is actually really nice with this W Max. So far, it seems pretty viable. Let's see. Achoo. Oh, a triple stack. Let's see if I can triple stack again. Double stack. Okay, wave clear is insane because I didn't even have a W Max yet. And this ability, look, this goes really far. I think this goes further than Kogma E. His ult, look how far his ult goes. It, his ult's hitting that tier 3 turret. Achoo! Oh, I'm so excited for this. I just knew. Is she level 6? I'm gonna back up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's not gonna make it. Oh! It goes slower. Well, it goes fast at first. At the end, it's really slow. That's a cool recall. He looked like a bat. He didn't look like a dragon. Why she gotta hover over me all the time? We. Yeah, well, we're walking back to lane. If you guys you could check if you're subscribed or not. I have two, well, three channels that I upload on daily. I got this Zara channel. I got my swag channel. I've got my Teemo climb channel. If you haven't seen that, I'm climbing Teemo from unranked to challenger and it's like the most fun i've ever had on league so i highly suggest you check out those videos the channel's called zwagmo but yeah i'm just gonna be scaling on this dude this is nice that they're having a new champion come out so fast after way because champions used to come out this fast i feel let's hit her with that boom Hitting alt on her is going to be very hard because she's Ari, so I'm probably not even going to use alt on her. But yeah, they used to release champions fast like this. And then, like, for the last, like, two or three years, they really slowed down and, like, I feel like the champion was coming out like, oh, how did I dodge that? A champion was coming out, like, twice a year or something. It was really bad. So I like hitting my W on the wave and then just queuing it for the free stacks. Mom! Awesome. She didn't have ult though, but uh. He might flash. Yep. I think I get a stack if I Q her. I don't think I got a stack. Maybe I get a stack for hitting them with W. Do you see anything up there? It's doing solid damage. I don't even have an item yet. I'm gonna go the Ludens, and then I don't know what else I'm gonna go. I think I clicked the mini map. Oh, I didn't hit her. We need to leave. We got a dragon. That's good. They got fed ADC. That's fine. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be able to one shot her later. Oh, I need 500 more. 550. I could stay. You can't Q the turret. I don't think the W does damage the turret. I'm gonna get this. Achoo. Once I have my Ludens, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that stacking combo anymore. Achoo. Oh, and it hit her. It's like a bubble. Alt's back up. Cooldown's not super long. I did take a... Uh, the runes I'm running are Comet, Mana Flow, Transcendence, Gathering, Eyeball, Ultimate. I don't know if I went over them already, but... I'm gonna play him as Mage. Brutalizer's back. Map's way bigger. Um, yeah, I think tomorrow is when the map comes out for you guys, so... Be ready for this. Gonna look exactly like how it looks on my game right now, just without a smolder. Only I get to play Smolder. I want to roam, but like... Kind of slow. I got a little dragon legs. How many stacks? 
I'm stacking pretty good. I think I'm stacking better than when I was playing him the first time, playing AD. Ari roamed. Not too much I can do. Sivir got a kill, so she should be happy. Dash building. What does Phage build? What's Phage? Huh. Ash is building a Phage. I wonder if she's going Triforce. Oh, yikes. Wait a second. It's not Bubble. Oh, I actually got her. My canyon. Okay, we need to leave. Oh, goodbye, Briar. Wait. Oh, I slowed Ari, too. Flap, flap. Over the wall. Yeah, that's about as far as you can go, this wall. It's dope. Good thing I took barrier. I'm going to need that to survive. Huh. Alright, I got my Ludens. I have almost enough stacks for the explosions behind the target, which is very good. I could pick up Sorks here. I guess I will. I need to be faster. Got a moon though. Does heart steel always give 25 per stack or does it still scale? A chew. Almost hit her. Cooldown's getting lower for this. I just need to build more haste. It's harder to build haste now though. Oh, that didn't mean no. I'm squishy. That did a lot of damage to me. What is she building? Is she building the same thing? Yeah, it's... Ju it's just a waste if I use my R on Ari. She has too many dashes to get out of it. But if she's ulting into me, it could work. Vice top still. I mean, if she dashes in, though, I can use it on myself to heal me. Almost. I think I got my Q off. Bad. Oh, if she hits this. Oh. I think I'm gonna get violated if she didn't use it up there. I just gotta keep focus on stacking. All right, what am I going second? See, the thing is, I kind of want to go burst, but a Lich Bane, I mean, I'm not even really able to use my Q that much against them if they're ranged. The thing is, Shadow Flame does magic damage and true damage critically strike below, so that's an execute now. There's Storm Surge. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going Shadow Flame, Storm Surge, whatever. I'm going to go Storm Surge, I think. Storm Surge is going to make them explode if I hit them with my ult, because my ult's going to do 35% of their max health for sure. And then I can throw in like a Leandre's later, have a burn. Once I have my Q upgrade, it gives a max health burn. That's the wrong button. I think I just insta clear the wave now. Oh no, it's still not killing the casters. I didn't really gain much more damage in last base. Chew. I'm not really having mana issues, so I guess this is enough. I don't need a tier, which is good. I think that hit her. Why did I get 14 gold? Oh, I killed a minion. No, my cannon. She was fighting someone. I think she's taking blue. I am a wave clear bot. Achoo! Damn, that hurts. I got Zillion by me if I decides to just come all. Briar's getting dragon, so that's good. 
That's still good though that my W is not killing that because I Q it and I get three free stacks. I want to ult her so bad. She's just not a good champ for that. I, I can force her to ult. Mom! Oh, she's over there. That goes really far though, so... I could hit her if she's standing behind this turret even. In team fights, it's gonna be disgusting. It's gonna be so strong in a team fight. I could already tell. Because people aren't gonna be trying to dodge it in a team fight because it, uh. Man, what perma arrow I mean. I am immortal! I'm gonna get flashed by also. Achoo! I have the streamer debuff. I'm gonna. I have a big target on my head. I need to remember that. I think Ash has only used her arrows on me. This. And. I can't buy anything else. I could get a dark seal, but. Majai's got a nerf. It's not a legendary item anymore because there's no more mythics. You don't get bonus by having it completed. Oh. I'm good. I can shoot my... Oh, I'm going to have ult. I'm going to have ult. If Briar ults him. Oh. Oh. Hey, they did. Come here. I'll take it. I was kind of hoping my ult would do more damage there, but I, I only have 190 AP. I'm not scaled yet. Oh, what did I just get? Oh, how did that hit? Oh, I missed. It's fine. It's fine. She totally isn't targeting me. At least that arrow, like, had no... I wasn't stunned for long. So I got the explosions, which is decent. But the real fun is when we get 225 and we get the Elder Dragon Burn. But now, my Q hits stuff behind what I Q. And I think that the circles on those get bigger as I uh, stack more, too. But if I do Lich Bane, it will activate on that, uh, that Q. It's just I'm not able to Q them that much. Their whole team's range besides these two. And when these two are on me, I'm not even going to be able to Q anyway because I'm just going to get deleted. My wave clear is super good now. Is that a, it's applying red buff to her. There we go. 420 alt kill. Finally. I guess her alt wasn't up. What does he got? Unending despair. Oh, he's kind of not dying. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting heavy AP Kog'Maw vibes here. Oh, he gone. I'm not even gonna chase him. Dude, it's applying red buff to everything my Q hits. So does that mean if you have a Blade of the Ruined King, it's gonna apply it to everything the Q touches? Need more stacks. See, I got thrown off when I was playing this the other day. Because, like, normally you can walk through here. It's gone now. You're not getting through there. I just know there's an Ash Arrow coming. I'm leaving. I have my Storm Surge, I think. I don't really do much damage to him. That's kind of expected. He's a tanky boy. I'll push one more wave and then I'll... Jeez, he does a lot of damage. I'm going to die to an arrow. Shoot it. I can't believe I live there.
He really hurts. Good thing I took barrier. I hope he was armor. Oh, well, Mundo seems pretty hard to kill. Oh, the heart seal stacks do go up with HP still. Okay, that's cool. Achoo! Oh, I almost hit Nami. Achoo. I just get an upgrade? What was my noise? No. Well, we only need like 50 more stacks. We're getting there. I don't know how we're going to kill Urgot. Maybe once I have the uh, true damage burn, that'll do something. He's in this bush. No, I didn't get Comet Prawn. I guess I just didn't hit him. Very pokey, but I think if I hit some uh, squishy champs, I'll do something. Darn, my Q's not hurting. Couldn't hit him with my W. I have to hit my. I have to hit my W and my alt. Oh! I got her! With the dragon snot bubble. Okay. Zipper got Ari. We're gonna lose the dragon, it looks. Stack it up, stack it up. They're not on it. It's not bubble. Go. Hit him. Urgot's here, so we kind of need to chill. Nice. I don't know how we're killing him, but it'll take a while. Oh, he juked us. Oh, it almost hit. Where's Mundo? Oh, he's behind us. Go! Oh, no. He's too fast. I think Zillion ult to the wrong person. Oh. oh, once I have my upgrade with Leandre Spurn, I think it'll be good. Okay. Looks like it was gonna hit. Four stacks. Oh, I'm only ten stacks off. I guess I should have went Shadow Flame instead of this. I thought I was going to do more damage. I'm doing good damage. It's just they're tanky. They're very tanky. My Q's starting to clear the waves pretty good. Oh, that did not go the way it went the first time. Well, I could get two large rods and just get death cap, and that would for sure give me a lot of damage. Good. I'm actually going to do that. 404 AP not found. 980 if it hits in the center. It's starting to do a lot. It's still not going to do any damage to the tanks till I get Leandre's. 
But I can either go Shadow Flame or Leandre's after that, and then I'll be so strong. But I will do some damage to the tanks now that I am about to have my Q upgrade. Oh, rank 3 ult, too. 1100 damage if it hits in the center, almost 1200. Oh, this is huge. Oh, I think I missed. I hit her. Oh, I'm so dead. Never mind. Okay, Urgot seems kind of busted. I don't know if my ult just didn't hit him at all or I missed. Urgot is just, like, not dying. Oh, it gives 55 AD. I thought they took the AD off of the Titanic. It was supposed to be, like, 30. Okay, we got the Elder Burn. Now, I have a 6.5% max health true damage on Q, and enemies under 7% are dead. I think I have to Q them, though. I don't think they get the burn from my abilities. If they get the burn from my abilities, that's broken. But it, the Q's going to hit everyone because it has splash damage. It's going to hit everyone in a fight. We need to kill Ash. I'm getting out of here. Darn, I hit the wrong one. I hit the right one. I want to keep queuing this guy. Put this burn on him. Nice! Huge. My storm surge procced on someone. I don't know who. Oh, damn. She's dead. Yo, we scaled. Bubble. How did that not hit? What? Somebody tell me how that didn't hit. That actually was, like, right on her. Well, the river height might be getting worse with the new river. I was hoping it'd get better, but that kind of looked like it was right on her. Her arrow might be back up. That might kill. Oh, my God. It wasn't enough to proc Storm Surge, either. It's fine. The next time, 1355 if they're in this center line. I think I go Shadow Flame and just... I can even get a Rocket Belt. That's cool. Uh, now I want Shadow Flame, then Leandre's. We'll save Leandre's for last. I need to get more burst damage for this Storm Surge to activate. My Q does some nice damage now. Uh, we need Vision of Baron. We're on a ward. I think I saved my E to run away. Oh my god. I didn't think Ash was going to stand there, but I don't know where else I thought she was. But it ended up working, because I... We got Ash. Yeah, yeah they could do Baron. Damn, it's 30 minutes in. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like 30 minutes. I hit Ash with the W, and it jumped like half of her health. And my abilities, like, my AP abilities keep getting stronger as I stack up, too. Alright, let's get that Leandre's. I mean, I might need a Void Staff. I'll sell Boots for a Void Staff later. I want the Burn 
2% max health burn on top of the 6.5% max health burn on Q is going to shred Urgot. But I think the Urgot's getting shredded now anyway. I think I can almost one-shot Nami with my ult. If my ult hits Nami, she, like, just explodes. We need Dragon, though. Choke points are really good for me. There's no push there anymore. I mean, Mundo's splitting. They have to just do this. Oh, I hit Ash. Need to kite back. Fine, we get in here. She's got three more dashes, by the way. An ally has been slain. Oh, I was like, how did that not proc Storm Surge? I did half of her health, but Storm Surge isn't available yet. Oh, please? Storm Surge? That was 35%. Scammed. Hey, I got a stack for the burn. Did he get the inhib? He got the inhib, and he's, like, not dying. Shut down. Nice. Okay, the unkillable guy is killable. This thing doesn't work, though. Well, maybe just because he has so much HP, it didn't do a lot. It should have worked on Ari, I feel. It's okay. Oh, I'll be in combat for a while with my uh, Elder Burn, too, so this will be nice. I need a Void, I think, is what I need. Ult does 1,600. Oh, it does physical damage. Oh... Uh... Okay, so if I buy a Void, it's not going to increase my ult damage, so maybe I won't buy a Void. I mean, the longer the game goes, the stronger I get, no? We just don't have, like, the greatest team comp, because Zillion doesn't really do any damage. Sivir's hard to fight with. Briar just kind of goes in and dies. Not her fault, though. It's just their comp kind of nukes her. Need a ward here. Well, you know, we need to get bot pushing. I don't want to run through the jungle, though. Gotta stay on my claws. Like oh, she's behind said. us. This could be big. Oh my god! Finally, dude! We waited all game for that. Oh, I hit her. She's gotta be really low. Execute? No, execute. Oh, there's my execute. Finally, dude! That is an alt worthy of killing everyone. That is good. Oh, wait, I killed Vi. I must have got my Q off on Vi because I think she got executed. There we go. <laughs> it took 35 minutes, but we finally got the big ult. I think it hit all of them. That ult did a lot of damage. It like, I think I, what did I instantly take out Ari and uh, Nami or something? And I can ult again. It's only a minute cooldown. That's dope. I mean, it's not as strong as I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty strong. Mm. 
Nice. 15 and 1. They had a tough team to play it into. But yeah, the AD does seem stronger. Who knows? Maybe I was just into a tough comp, but we did, like, my ult did, like, one-shot Nami at the end. And I actually did the same amount of damage as AP than I did AD. I think I did 50, I did 55k damage in my 30-minute AD game, and I was even more fed than this. So maybe it, just because I was, like, the sole damage dealer of the team. I'll have to give it another try later. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do differently. Definitely shouldn't have gone the Storm Surge second. I was hoping I'd do more damage. We never got the Leandre's burn, but the Elder burn on the Q is just enough. 4k damage on Comet almost. He really uses Comet well. And yeah, other than that, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.